pretty gray day across the valley. We're seeing some areas of rain, a little bit of wintry mix for our first alert weather day that continues through the rest of our evening and into tomorrow morning. We're continuing to track areas of wintry mix and eventually more snow and slick roads. But as for snow, as we've been saying for several days now, it's not going to be a lot. Here's the latest snowfall potential. Most areas that see snow, a trace to an inch because of the initial melting. And it's going to take a while for temperatures to be cool enough to start accumulating. A couple spots may see an inch to two inches, but really looking few and far between. Here's what we're seeing now. Mostly rain in the Southern Valley, a little bit exiting Lakes Country at this time. Meanwhile, along that I-94 corridor, a little bit of wintry mix. So that might be creating a little bit of slickness heading into tonight. Right now, uh, the latest road conditions map shows pretty clear conditions, but as temperatures start to drop, that could freeze over. So paying attention to road conditions through tonight. Again, mostly in the Southern Valley, we're seeing just rain showers because temperatures are warm. It's 39 here in Fargo and down to the south, watching additional moisture lifting in. So here's what you can expect in your first alert forecast. This little bit of wintry mix, this model kind of overblows what we're actually seeing a bit. That'll continue to shift to the south a little bit with additional moisture lifting in from the north. Now by 10 o'clock tonight, this forecast model showing a lot of snow, right? Areas in blue. However, look at the temperatures in most locations, not all temperatures will be above freezing. So as that snow falls, it'll melt or it'll melt once it hits the ground and won't accumulate. Once temperatures dip at or below freezing, that is when we'll start to see a bit more accumulation, but it's going to be pretty late, uh, mostly through the overnight hours in southeastern North Dakota first and then eventually into Lakes Country by tomorrow morning. But by daybreak or when a lot of folks might be waking up for a Saturday morning, mostly cloudy skies, the snow exiting off to the east and we're left with a mostly cloudy day. Aside from out west, we might see a few peaks of sunshine here in Fargo, we might see a little bit of sun mid afternoon, uh, but it will be a mostly cloudy day. Most of the sun is going to be west. Brief clearing in the evening, of course, after the sun sets, and then additional cloud cover moves in Saturday night. Right now, 40 degrees in Fargo. I know the bottom of your screen says 39. Uh, Moorhead is 39 at this hour. North wind at 10 miles per hour. Grand Forks, you can see oh, behind my head there, a tiny bit of sun. 33 degrees north wind at 12 miles per hour. Temperatures are quite mild. Uh, upper 30s, low 40s in the Southern Valley, close to the freezing mark up north. So that's why we're still dealing with this wintry mix as opposed to just snow like we might typically be seeing this time of year. Keep your Valley News Live weather up handy through the weekend. The interactive satellite and radar is going to be a great feature if you have any plans this weekend and those road conditions as well. We have links to there tomorrow morning. Temperatures are going to be quite chilly up north in northeastern North Dakota. Some teens, meanwhile, 30s down to the south. By tomorrow afternoon, 20s and 30s. Temperatures will stay pretty steady through the Southern Valley as that snow exits. Looking at your extended forecast, we still have more melting weather in store. Pretty chilly. The chilliest day comes Monday, but followed up by a really nice day on Tuesday. And Bobby, we're still looking ahead to the Christmas holiday. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it by the end of our 11 day forecast. It's on there. Still signs of potentially a little bit of wintry mix or snow okay. on Christmas Eve. So we're going to continue to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, still, like you said, up in the air for a white Christmas. Yeah, still up yeah. in the air. Well, yeah, so I, I guess that's also a little suspenseful. You never know. Puts a lot of pressure on us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's a better way of how to explain it. Summer, thank you.